Well, it took till 1985 where the Blues had some success. Steve Turvey Mortimer, the captain, the number seven, he lifts the shield. What a moment. Do you remember that day? I was there. Well, yeah. yeah, I can remember it like it was yesterday because I remember going up to the main street of Cessnock and I bought a white Quicksilver jumper, which I had my eye on and we never had enough money to get it. But I actually saved and saved and mum then paid half, mum and dad paid half. So I got this flash white Quicksilver hoodie, which I wore, and it poured rain the whole time. And I was on the hill seeing a lot of misbehaviour also, back in the day when men <laughs> were men. But I actually there witnessed when Turvey Mortimer raised the shield for the first time, and it, it stayed with me for a long time. And I remember that because when I got home, there was so much rain that my favourite Quicksilver hoodie, the uh, everything run on it, and it destroyed it. So I was shattered, but... New South Wales winning that, it uh, made it all worth it. So I really remember that, and it stayed with me for a long time. Tell me this, if somebody had gone up to you at the ground, tapped on the, uh, the shoulder of that white Quicksilver hoodie and said, you know what, Andrew Johns, see that jumper Steve Mortimer's wearing? You'll wear that one day. Would you believe that? I wouldn't have believed it, because I was really small from age. Yeah. I, I loved playing. I, I lo absolutely loved it. But as I said, I was really small at that stage. Um, I would have given anything in my life to play for New South Wales. So for me, the jumper means everything to me and to represent my state. And, and I find it an insult that Queensland State means more to them because for me, I would have died for that jersey and I mean that. Well, you couldn't get one Quicksilver hoodie to last, but you got many, many Origin jumpers instead. Well done.